Hi, good morning. Can you hear me? All good? Okay, so uh, good morning everyone. On behalf of uh, the Indian Institute of Science and the Department of Computer Science and Automation, I extend a warm welcome to all of you to the thematic workshop on secure multi-party computation theory and practice. Just a few forwards. Um, the in uh, Indian Institute of Science is an 110 year old pre-independence era establishment founded by J. N. Tata following the vision of our great monk Swami Vivekananda. It is one of the institutes in this country to have been awarded the tag of Institute of Eminence. In fact, this workshop is organized under uh, one of the initiatives of IOE. And since its inception, this institute has strived to provide the best establishment possible for research, fulfilling uh, the <coughs> initial goal of the founders of putting India at the forefront of research. The Department of Computer Science and Automation, uh, uh, aka CSA as we fondly, fondly call it as, was uh, established much later in 1969 and has consistently contributed to research in prominent areas of computer science. And this workshop, as I have mentioned before, uh, was envisioned as a part of Golden Jubilee celebrations. Yes, we are 50 years old now. Um, and uh, this workshop uh, is themed around the topic of multi-party computation, uh, aka MPC, which is the standard bearer and the holy grail problem in cryptography. And that, uh, that permits a collection of data owners to perform a collaborative computation on their private inputs without anyone gaining any knowledge about the data provided by the other, except from what is derived, what can be derived from the output. I'm sorry, you look cute even with the horn, so I chose you <laughs> as the adversary. <laughs> um, so this workshop is focused towards the current trends and research in this area. And uh, making this event possible, we have amongst our presence the, the pioneers, the great researchers in cryptography from all over the world. Thank you all of you who are present here. And to give you the best experience, and uh, since we have a mix of students, some are undergrad as well, the initial set of presentations would cover the basic concepts and preliminaries of MPC, followed by more involved advanced talks covering the topics from the state of the art in the field. Also to help prepare the participants better for the workshop, we have sent a bunch of materials preliminary to advance to all the participants. Hope you have received all of them and uh, had uh, uh, used in the best possible way. We have also uh, arranged the talks so that the theory heavy talks are in the morning and uh, uh, the practical uh, type of talks are scheduled in the afternoon to take care of your lunch effect. And we have also tried to glue together the talks uh, that are uh, uh, around the same topics. And this workshop is a great opportunity for the experts and the students to interact. So I hope you make most of it, okay? The goal of the workshop, the one and only goal of this workshop is to galvanize MPC research in India. Uh, so this is how the critical mass in MPC looks like in the Indian map today. And the goal is to uh, have it like this, <laughs> okay? To spread, the, uh, spread and share the excitement of MPC across India. That's the one and only goal. And so um, now I would quickly take a moment to thank all those uh, who uh, made this conference a reality. Speakers, thank you very much for taking your time off from your busy schedule. The sponsors, as I have mentioned, this, is, this workshop is primarily supported by uh, IOE initiative. And we have also co-sponsors, co Google Research, IBM, Robert Bosch Center for Cyber Physical Systems and uh, Microsoft Research. And lastly, I would like to thank all my student volunteers. It's completely a show run by them. And to be specific, uh, three gems, three extraordinarily super enthusiastic students, Sravani, Ajit, and Nishat, and our excellent staffs from, um, from the Department of Computer Science. 
and uh, for any issues please reach out to us we have a broadcast channel established amongst us so if you just uh, inject some message to anybody we will ha have it and we will discuss and get back to you <laughs> because all of us are honest <laughs> Okay, so now we have a beautiful campus as you can see some of the glimpse here. Uh, please feel free to explore the um, uh, campus when you get time, but of course not by banking, banking the lectures, right? And uh, a few uh, informations that, uh, that is put up here, I think it's also put up outside the pin board. Um, uh, this is the number for the health center on campus. As a green mobility initiative, we have battery operated uh, vans, e-rickshaws. So you can call up this number, if you are a bunch of people who want to roam around, you can call up that number and get it hired for uh, several hours, whatever you prefer. And uh, there are a few general instructions, no food and drinks are allowed inside the auditorium. You can carry water of course. Coffee and tea and snacks will be served outside the auditorium in the breaks. For the lunches, we have to walk. So this is uh, uh, the, the Department of uh, Computational Data Science, CDS and ACRC and uh, the Department of Computer Science is right um, uh, beside this building. So we'll have our volunteers, they are all sitting in black, as you can see, just if you can just, yeah. So and they will have their name written on, on the back, so you can simply follow them uh, for the lunch to see us. It's just a few minutes walk not more than five minutes and please carry your badge with you for the lunch and uh, regarding reimbursement to the speakers we'll reach out to you don't worry and uh, for those who are uh, getting stipends tomorrow on, on Monday our CSS staff will be here to help out with this we'll make the announcement before that. and this is the Wi-Fi credential I, I hope you have got it and it is also posted outside in the pin board and that's it. Thank you. So we are all set to start the workshop formally. Yeah, so we are in time.